Hey Aquarius, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's go ahead and hop into this, okay? So this is for, gonna be for um, November. So what's currently going on right now? Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. Thank you. This is a general read, guys, so it may or may not resonate. So take what applies and leave the rest. All right, so if this message resonates with you, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. All right, so a couple more shuffles, and then we'll jump into it. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. All right, we're going to stop right here. All right, so we got the King of Pentacles here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, and the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so it looks like you're thinking of a master plan here. You're looking at all your options. You're looking at everything that's going on around you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Like, you're thinking of a master plan. Yeah, you're like, I'm not going out bad. <laughs> I'm not going out sad, bad, mad, none of that. <laughs> All right, so we got the Nine of Cups, first card jumping out. So you're looking at your desires, your wish fulfillments. What do you want? Okay, Ace of Cups. You may want something fresh and new, all right? After a tower moment here, all right? Ace of Pentacles, I'm telling you, y'all looking at the results of something. Now we got the Empress and the Will of Fortune, the Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, Star, and the Temperance card here. All right, so... Yeah, okay, this jumped out. We got the Knight of Wands in the Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like you could be discussing with a group of people about possibly a trip. I'm getting like something back and forth, something really quick, uh, something sporadic. Uh, it looks like some type of trip. Okay, so let's talk. We got the Tower card here. Could be Scorpio energy. I got Libra, Taurus, as well as uh, Sagittarius here. And we got you guys energy here with the star card. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's see why the tower card is here. I definitely want to see why this tower card is here. It's like out of the blue. You want something new. You're having regrets. Okay. You're looking back at a situation with regret. Maybe something you started ended abruptly, okay? Maybe you cut off communication with somebody. Maybe something with your finances here. Could be family-oriented. Maybe you feel like something is ru rushed. And somebody here needs to take responsibility for something here with the seven of swords and the hierophant somebody needs to take responsibility here so something was rushed you feel like something was rushed and it's like you're starting to regret something something that you started ended abruptly tell me more about the five of cups Yeah, I feel like you want to feel included. Maybe you don't feel included in something. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. There's that Two of Wands and the Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck when we first shuffled. Okay, like I said, you were thinking of some type of plan possibly to bring in some, some money with this King of Pentacles. Um, yep, nine of pentacles here. Like you're thinking of a master plan. I just feel like that. Like you're thinking of a master plan. Um, maybe you're waiting to tell everyone or speak out about it because maybe you're thinking about how much it costs, what what it's gonna cost you to do something. So you're kind of undecided, you're trying to possibly keep things, you know, keep it protected and not you know, just speak on it too soon. Because maybe you're afraid that if you speak on it, then you may have some regrets. But I do see you wanting something fresh and new. And I'm not going to lie. It looks like you are here a little disappointed here with this four of cups. So whatever this situation is, it looks like 
something that you wanted we're gonna see tell me more about this five of cups energy tell me more about this five of cups energy Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. And the devil could be definitely be a Capricorn and the Ace of Wands. There's six going on here. All right. What is this? The devil and the Ace of Wands. This is definitely sexual energy. Yeah. The Fool and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So now we're talking about a, a connection that you have with someone that you have been having intercourse with, being around. It started off rocky. But now it looks like somebody wants a relationship and this could be making you nervous or feeling like, you know, you're overthinking it. Maybe you think this person is going to cheat. You don't trust this person. Yeah, it's like you don't see this turning out good. Um, I feel like you're watching this person like you're just kind of watching. You're just kind of watching this person. OK, so now let me see why the nine of cups here. Queen of swords, you guys, is energy. I feel like you want something new. You want something new because a situation that you worked on previously, I'm telling you, it didn't work with the five of swords and the three of pentacles. It did not work out. So you want something new. It fell apart and you had regrets. It could have been with the earth sign or it could have been y'all, you guys fell out um, about finances or money could have been involved. Why is the ace of cups here? The ten of swords. Yep. The challenge is starting over, feeling like you having to start over. Maybe you having to tell your family um, about this man. We got the emperor here. Maybe you spoke really good about this person, really highly of this person. And then this person turned around and possibly stabbed you in the back. Tell me more about this ten of swords. Page of Cups, yeah. Maybe you cut off communication with this person. I feel like you tried to see where this was going to go, but I feel like it ended, or you're afraid or worried that it is coming, like it's ending. Tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. The High Priestess. Maybe... You knew you had a feeling that this was going to happen. Tell me more about this high priestess. Somebody could have been hiding money. This person could have been hiding money. Why is the high priestess here? The three of wands. Yep, you knew this was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. So now you want something new. I feel like you cut off communication with somebody as well because a tower moment hit. And it's like, mm, this time, I feel like you're coming up with something. You're, you're, you're thinking of a master plan on how to either A, fix the situation or to leave the situation. Now we got the Empress back here in the past energy. Tell me more about this Empress. Ooh. We got the Empress with the Nine of Wands. Now, I'm not going to take this card because I don't like taking cards that, that jump on the floor. But it was the Nine of Wands. So, let's see. Why is the Empress here? Tell me more about this Empress. The Fool. This could be somebody's first baby mama. Maybe you were dealing with baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. Um, maybe you thought that this situation was over, but it, it came back into the picture. Okay. Tell me more about the fool. The emperor, yep. Baby mother, baby father. So for some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father situation, a husband, a wife boyfriend and girlfriend definitely for sure we got the empress and the emperor okay somebody was juggling somebody was cheating for sure two of pentacles and the three of swords there could have been accusations of cheating there could have been accusations of somebody sleeping with somebody for sure for sure so that was the tower that maybe you found out that there was a third party um maybe you cut off communication with this person but you felt this you may have felt this 
your intuition may have already given you this feel okay so moving ahead is the will of fortune energy we got the five of swords now this is making you very upset this situation is causing you to feel very upset okay maybe you're asking this person to help you out financially but there is another person in the picture queen of wands we got the lovers and the queen of wands it looks like there is another party or or someone is saying that you you feel like this person is making the situation more harder than it needs to be okay and i'm seeing someone asking someone for support but there is another another party involved queen of wands this person could be a leo sagittarius aries now i'm getting a sense of insecurities um and jealousy possibly with this five of swords energy or there's bickering back and forth tell me more about this five of swords please the three of cups yeah there is uh, a lot of messiness a lot of people um having to say so or got a listening ear on this situation i'm getting friends stabbing each other in the back maybe this maybe this is somebody who was close to you tell me more about the three of cups seven of swords yep there is definitely a third party okay now with the wheel of fortune here you could be switching this up on this person i'm getting there some changes i'm getting somebody flipping the script but for sure there is a third party coming up into this um <laughs> Five of Swords and the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords, that is some very sneaky, manipul manipulative energy. Yeah, I'm getting like some of y'all flipping the script on them. Because see, we got the Nine of Swords and the Hermit and the King of Swords. So it's like you could be saying, oh, they're going to see how it feels when they find out the truth. Because you had to find out the truth about this person. Okay, so you want this person to see how it feel because I feel like this is how this person had you feeling. You as a queen of cups, you're giving this person all your love and affection. You're showing this person, every giving this person all of your, your love and caring energy. And this is what they did. This is how they left you. Ten of wands. They did you like that and then they walked away from you. Okay, you picked up, you picked yourself back up. You got your strength back. Okay, and now it's your turn. Mmm. Like I said, now, this, <laughs> they don't want to mess with no Aquarius. Them Aquariuses is, ooh, air energy? Okay. Play with them if you want to. Why is the Four of Cups here? I see you being disappointed, though. You're, you're disappointed about the situation. Yep, because look, we got this. We got this Lovers and this Queen of Wands. That came out again, as was this Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Earth sign, but the thing about this person, this person has not fully grown up yet. They are a knight, okay? They're not ready for a full-fledged commitment. And, and this, the Magician and the Five of Wands, this person is pissing you off because you're extremely pissed off, for sure, for sure, because the relationship ended. It ended right when it was starting to get good. You feel like this person think that they can come back and forth whenever they feel like it? No. Now, the person that you're dealing with, they're in the Six of Pentacles energy. Ooh. Yeah. We got the Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Um, I'm getting like, give, either you gave this person a choice or this person gave you a choice on whether or not if this person was going to walk away. But I'm getting, somebody gave somebody a choice. And they decided to be single because the truth had already came out. You done found out the truth, all right? You you already did. You already found out the truth. So, you know, all they are left with is being stuck in their feelings. That's all they're being left with. And they have to wait. They're waiting. Like, they're waiting for you to reach out to them. They're waiting for you to come towards them. They're feeling bumped out. 
gosh now the star card is here which is you guys' energy but i feel like in your hopes and fears you're hoping to heal star card is healing okay you're doing a lot of praying why is the star card here queen of cups queen of cups yeah see you about to come back out on top but if you want this person i'm just keep getting like you want this person to see how i feel why is the queen of cups here Knight of Wands. You hope that they get played. <laughs> uh, because every time you ask them for something, either this person comes up with some type of excuse or like they give you the runaround. I feel like you feel like they play with your feelings. Now the outcome is temperance. This is Sagittarius. This energy could be dealing with the sag. But I feel like you're here to even out the score. Tell me why the temperance card is here. The king of swords. Didn't I tell you? You're embodying this king of swords energy. This is the most coldest. When I say the king of swords don't play no games, okay? This king of swords does not play games. This is a very straight to the point okay cut to the chase it is what it is no nonsense type of energy now you feel like this relationship was not is not benefiting you we got the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles maybe you went through the struggle with this person financially okay maybe this relationship you uh was very caring and helping so now it looks like you're looking out for yourself Okay, I, find, I feel like a lot of y'all, since the truth got out, like I said, the truth got out and it's like, okay, it is what it is. Now it's my turn. It's my turn now. It's my turn now. Why is the King of Swords here? I feel like them emotions, the Two of Cups wanted to jump. The Those emotions... I don't see a lot of emotions here. I see uh, I see that you're getting ready to think very logically in this situation. I don't see a lot of emotions here. Why is the King of Swords here? I see that you cared about this person. You love this person. But I don't see you being a fool. Now, Four of Swords and the King of Cups. <laughs> the King of Cups and the King of Swords is totally opposite energy okay and they're saying you think you think you're feeling it now wait till i wait till i wait till i get you wait till i get you the hangman and the five of wands wait till i get you because i bet you i'm gonna win this time see this is an argument and this is somebody feeling like they won that argument they won that fight so you're saying okay wait till i get you <laughs> <laughs> Look at this justice card, baby. You about to have this person stressed out so bad. It's going to be ridiculous. They're going to be spying on you, watching you, seeing you be on top of your A game. Okay? And they got to sit there and watch. Because you don't build your strength back. See, the person tried to tell you down. You're going to keep your eye on the situation. But I feel like you feel like this relationship and this situation was a burden. Ten of Wands and Ten of Cups. Okay. Every time you ask for something, you feel like this person, you know, like doesn't deliver. Doesn't deliver. All right. So, hey, it is what it is. I really ain't got nothing to say bad or go off on about this reading. I feel like uh, dealing with an Aquarius, y'all better, if you dealing with an Aquarius and you playing with them, y'all better be ready to get played back because they is the... The players. Okay, you want to play? I'm going to show you how to play. You want to play? Let me show you how to play. I'm going to show you how to play. And I love it. I love that energy. I mean, I just feel like they are they are very logical. Um, so, hey, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Okay? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are new. If you're interested in checking out my website, guys, the website is www.empressempireoils.com. If you're interested in booking a reading, all of that information is in the drop box below. All right? Just reach out to me via email, and we can get you set up. All right? Until next time, ciao for now.